I was born and raised here in Modesto. I'm a local product of Downey High School, then went on to UCLA, where I graduated and moved back home. Yeah, I'm the youngest of six. I come from a big family, and one fun fact is that there is a 21-year age difference between myself and my oldest brother, John. So we've been out at functions before, and people will think that my brother is my dad, you know, because the age diff gap is so big. Um, but actually, interestingly enough, th my oldest brother and I are, are really close, even though there's 21 years age difference. I went to high school at Thomas Downey High School, graduated in 1994, and then went on to UCLA where I earned a track scholarship, graduated from UCLA in 1999, came home after that because my mother had recently passed away from cancer and it was time to be home with the family. It was also a chance to train and focus for the 2000 Olympic Games in um, Sydney, which I made, and that year at home, sort of healing with my family and getting myself focused for the Olympics was really the time when I became world class. I went from being a national level, national level athlete to a world class athlete in that year. The, the life of an Olympic athlete, you toil for four years out of the limelight and then once every four years you're on the world's biggest stage. Uh, and in some ways MID is very similar. I see the director sort of toiling and quiet, you know, working uh, behind the scenes to make things great. Uh, to make this district as, as great as it can be. Uh, and once every four years, you got to prove yourself again. So I'm a mother to two beautiful children, uh, Gianna and Matthew. Matthew's five, Gianna's three. And that has been the single greatest accomplishment of my life, being a mother. I'm very grateful and blessed to have that experience. And I want to do everything I can in this community to make it a place where my children can thrive and be successful. My husband Tim is very supportive of me, even in my days as an athlete when I had to leave home and travel the world for uh, weeks at a time, he's always been very supportive. Tim knows that I'm the type of person that likes to be involved, that has goals and um, wants to be engaged in our local community and he's very supportive of that. So Tim and I own and operate Roost Tree Nursery. Uh, it's located actually in Oakdale in OID, so we're not in the MID district. Uh, Tim is a third generation farmer. In fact, water decision makers have been in our family for 75 years. Uh, Tim's uncle was the chief hydrologist of the state of California, and Tim's dad is on, currently on the board of SSJID. So water has been a topic of conversation in our family at the dinner table, and car rides, at get-togethers. Um, we often get hydrology reports every Christmas from our uncle, and uh, it's part of our way of life in many ways. My husband has been in the nursery industry for the last 20 years. We recently went out on our own to start Roost Tree Nursery. Um, it's a way of life for us. It's not just a, a way to make money. It is a way that we uh, live and operate. And so water staying in this region is extremely important to us. Uh, it is our livelihood. And it's uh, culturally very significant to this region.